Depending on what you're here for as a patient, whether you're here for abdominal pain or you're here for um, ongoing headaches or if you know you have some kind of illness or pathology, diagnostic imaging is, is, one, is going to be one of the steps in your pathway through recovery and healing here. A lot of diagnostic imaging, when, when the general public thinks about it, they think x-rays, radiology, radiation. MRI doesn't use any kind of radiation, or at least not any kind of ionizing radiation. It uses um, magnetic fields and radio frequencies. It's a very high level of magnetism um, that alters your atomic, your, your, alters your, your tissues at an atomic level. So generally, when, when people think of MRI, they think there's a long, skinny, small tube that we're gonna shove you into and, and you're gonna have to you know, stay there for a long period of time and it's gonna be extremely loud and uncomfortable. And to be honest, once upon a time, that's essentially how MRI was. Um, we have, with technology changes, we've been able to recreate um, that experience. And so our current, our new MRI is wider than, than our older technology. We have air conditioning that runs through the unit uh, to keep the patients cool. It's part of, part of the radio frequencies that we use in imaging creates heat. And, and this is not new technology, but we've got, you know, um, mirrors that we clip onto the, the patients over their eyes so that we can direct those mirrors to either be looking down out one end of the bore or out the other end of the bore. Now the cool thing is we've instituted an, an audio video experience. So we have a um, TV monitor that's built into the wall um, on one end of the MRI machine and a TV monitor that's built into the ceiling on the other end of the MRI machine. So if you're going into the machine feet first, you can lay on your back and you can watch watch the TV. Uh, we have preset scenes or you can watch, you can even watch something on Netflix if you really wanted to. The whole feeling of being closed in this tube, although larger tube, it's mitigated by being able to at least get your visual perspective outside of the of the MRI machine. We also have lighting in the room that changes. We can change the color of the lighting or it can be choreographed with whatever's showing on the TV so that um, if it's say a, a clouds theme when you see clouds you know just passing by the sky the lighting will change between a white and a, and a light blue and and the whole light color of the room changes to to coordinate with that small details that we've invested in to create a much more pleasant environment for our patients Claustrophobia is a big deal. A lot of people suffer from claustrophobia, whether they know it or not. Sometimes they discover that the moment that they're put into the MRI rooms. So this, this machine, this magnet is very large. So we actually have it on the second floor. To get the old machine out, we had to essentially cut a huge hole in the outside wall and craned in the new unit and then rebuilt the wall. So you can't really roll one of these units down the hallway. There's a whole laundry list of things that this machine can do um, technologically um, that, our, that our older technology that we replaced couldn't do.